This is video number 107 on your firearms defense channel. Tonight I'm giving you my endorsement for President of the United States. This is the most critical election we faced in the years that our republic has existed. This election will determine the future of the United States of America. This election will determine whether we shall remain as a free republic a bright shining light of freedom and opportunity on a hill for the world to look at and an example for the world to follow, or whether we shall follow the paths of every other country that has declined and deteriorated into a state of uh, oppression and dictatorship. This election is absolutely critical to our future. That is why, as Firearms Defense, I have decided to give my endorsement and my support to Mitt Romney for President and Paul Ryan for Vice President. There are three reasons that I'm doing this. Now, before I discuss these reasons, I want to say first of all and right up front, I'm Firearms Defense. My political views are just a little to the right of center. Well, okay, a lot to the right of center. but. Uh, and in fact, a lot of people think that I'm a gun nut and a loose cannon, you know, and uh, an irresponsible firearms owner. And I've been called a lot worse things on my channel. But one thing about me is I do not, I do not have a racist bone in my body. I absolutely do not hate anyone for their color or their skin. And I'm just not a racist. I've uh, never said anything regarding that anywhere on my channel. So, having said that, now my first reason for giving my endorsement to Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan is they're white. That's right up front. And that's the reason, number one. They're white. They represent me. They represent my values. They're going to represent my interest. And here's the other thing. Now, we as a white race, we have to stop apologizing for being white. We have to stop bending over backwards to be politically correct. We have to stop catering to our enemies out there in the world. And there are many of our enemies. Our enemies hate us. They uh, destroyed the uh, Twin Towers on 9-11, uh, as I recall. They've done countless other incidents uh, against us. So, uh, so we have a lot of enemies out there who hate us because we're white. And with as much courage and honesty and integrity as we can muster, we've got to collectively look the world straight in the eye and we've got to say, we're not apologizing for being white anymore. We're tired of it. We're tired of being politically correct. We're going to stand up for our beliefs. We're going to stand up to these other people out there in the world who don't like us. And we're tired of being pushed around. And we're not going to be politically correct or be ashamed of being white anymore. And that's number one with me and right absolutely up front. And that's the reason I'm giving these two gentlemen my endorsement is they're white. And I'm not ashamed of being white. And I'm not ashamed to say it. And it may not be politically correct, but hey, we got to stand up and take this thing back. And that's what we got to do. Reason number two, if we re-elect Barack Obama, Barack Hussein Obama, by the way, not just Barack Obama, Barack Hussein Obama, who doesn't even have a birth certificate, who can't show us a birth certificate, we even have no idea where this guy was born, uh, you know, how he got elected, I still don't understand to this day. But if, if he goes back in in 2012, our republic as we know it, the United States of America, is going to cease to exist. It's going to go out of existence. We're going to become a communist dictatorship under him. And you can, uh, you can make book on that, and that says just the way it's going to be. So that's the second reason we got to get him out of there and get these other two gentlemen in. The third reason, okay, I'm firearms defense. 
I'm a gun nut. I'm a strong Second Amendment supporter. The only difference between a free people and a free state, it's your firearm. That's the only thing that stands between you and government tyranny. If he gets back in, he's going to subject our firearms ownership rights and our Second Amendment rights to all these third world dictatorships in the United Nations and these people are going to come marching in and they're going to take our firearms away and they're going to send all of us to FEMA camps and they're going to take everything we've uh, worked for and we've earned uh, over the years and uh, and that's that's going to be the end of all game you know and if uh, if you don't like it uh, you know the war's just got to start we just got to get started and uh, have a thousand years of the new dark ages and have a war so in summation here that's why my endorsement for President of the United States of America goes to Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan. And if we want to turn this thing around, if we want to take our country back, if we want freedom, if we want justice, if we want hope in this country, we have to go to the polls in mass and we have to vote for them and we have to take it back and we have to do it this year. There's not going to be another chance. Okay, this is your Firearms Defense Channel signing off on video number 107. I'll see you on video number 108.